impact still felt now months after the emergency at Parkside Collective is over when an explosion and mm. resulting fire disrupted much more than the families who used to live there. Denver 7's Veronica Acosta goes behind the scenes with one nearby business owner and her struggle mm. to stay afloat. We're really struggling and all of us here at the eatery were afraid that we're not going to last the year. The Parkside Eatery was supposed to be a place where the hundreds of Parkside Collective tenants could go. And it was until this happened back in September of 2022. It was when the Parkside Collective building had a construction explosion. An explosion that forced those hundreds of tenants to leave. They had to evacuate within a week, and so 500 of our clients were gone in a week. It was very disheartening. It was sad because I had gotten to know a lot of the clients. For months now, Gina DiTuello and the other small business owners inside of the eatery have tried getting more and more customers through their doors, organizing trivia nights, karaoke, even trying to have events held here. DiTuello says these efforts have brought in bumps of customers, but never enough to keep them afloat long term. Well, there's a lot of people in Aurora still, and we just weren't expecting to have to cultivate that other business because we were going to grow with these guys and then reach out to the surrounding neighborhoods. And we had to stop everything when that happened and start reaching out to all the other neighborhoods and completely change our marketing strategies. So for she and the others in this building, it's a chase for these customers before it's too late. It's just a matter of whether or not we can financially sustain until it gets full again. With their fingers crossed, the apartment complex that sits right in front of the eatery and was supposed to sustain it reopens soon. So the Parkside Collective apartment complex, that's closed. We know all of the people who lived inside of it aren't living there right now. But Gina also told me, you might remember this, the RTD R line that actually derailed near Exposition in Sable. Well, a lot of people that typically rode that R line, they were customers of the eatery. So when that derailment happened, she also ended up losing those customers for months. She says right now she and the other business owners inside of the eatery are just serving those who come in as much and as best they can. We're in Aurora this morning. I'm Veronica Acosta, Denver 7. Can't yeah. catch a break a there. A long road ahead, yeah.